Alright, what's up you guys? I'm here with the TLC 2017 pay-per-view DVD review. Um, this pay-per-view really got switched around uh, due to the meningitis outbreak. Uh, this was supposed to be Shield's big, re um, you know, they were supposed to reunite, have their big moment. But Kurt Angle had to replace Roman Reigns. And um, Bray Wyatt was actually replaced by AJ Styles um, from SmackDown. So... I think overall this pay-per-view was much better than the original, uh, originally intended to be, but there's no knowing that. You know, we didn't get to see the original, so um, it was a much more appealing card, I guess you could say, after the changes. So we have a great cover there with Kurt Angle, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose. You have the ladders in the background, very cool colors in the sky there. Very nice cover. And then we have the spine. Same as the uh, cover. And then we have Asuka there. Alright, no match listing, unfortunately. But we do have um, Sasha Banks and Alicia Fox in your kickoff match as your extra. Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James for the Raw Women's title. Asuka versus Emma. And Asuka's first pay per view match and Emma's final, unfortunately, um, before she was released. Then we have Enzo versus Kalisto for the Cruiserweight title. And then we have Demon Finn Balor versus AJ Styles. Turned out to be a great match. I think it could have went on a little longer, maybe five, seven minutes longer. Still a great match, though. And then we have Kurt Angle teaming up with Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose versus The Miz, Sheamus, Cesaro, Kane, and Braun Strowman in your TLC match which was a pinfall finish, not the belt or anything like that. Uh, that's one complaint. That was the only TLC-related match. We didn't have any chairs matches. We didn't have any tables matches. Hell, we didn't even have a stairs match. Um, so that, it didn't really seem very TLC-oriented, but still, it turned out to be a decent enough pay-per-view. Do get a Sasha Banks card there. Very nice. For your Sasha Banks fans out there. And then your disc artwork. Same as the cover. But overall decent pay-per-view like I said. I think it turned out um, better than it was originally going to. But let me know what you guys think. And until next time this has been the DVD Freak. Peace out.